Hello everyone, I'm Sean. This is Hoon. And we are the Courageous Frights, back once again for another movie review. Yes. This time we're doing 65. Yes. So this is a film starring Adam Driver and Ariana Greenblatt. Actually, I wonder, if, is that her first movie? Is this... No, Ariana Greenblatt was actually, uh, she played young Gamora. Oh, was that? I guess that flashbacks. was her. Yeah, that was her. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... That basically no one else. Yeah, literally those are the two characters you need to worry about. <laughs> yeah. So the basic idea of this film is Adam Driver plays an alien. And yes. it's in the distant past and a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yes, that's not far away. <laughs> but then he comes to this planet because he's kind of just a pilot that runs like a I shuttle mean, service they really, yeah they don't really explain it it's like these people are going from one location to another yeah so he basically pilots people from one place to another it's a two-year-long mission yeah so they're all in cryostasis and along the way he runs into an asteroid field yeah unexpected asteroid field it's uh, yeah, suddenly unexpected asteroids and he crashes on a planet and no one survives except for him and a little girl. Yes. And then he tries to get home because and there's dinosaurs. Then the title, the title crawl comes up. Yes. And it says, 65 million years ago, a visitor, a visitor came, came to, to Earth. Earth. And then Earth stays on the screen for like <laughs> 10 seconds. 10 seconds. They really try to hammer the point across that this is Earth. Yeah. But I have an issue with that, but we'll get into that yeah. later. It's, it would have worked better if it wasn't Earth, but yeah. So essentially, apart from a few flashback scenes, that's the whole cast. Yeah, you literally have pretty much Adam Driver driving the yeah, film. Yeah, driving the film along from yes. getting the one girl back. Like, they basically have them both getting out of there, but his whole goal is to have her out of there. Like, that's his goal. Yeah, it's literally an escort mission. Yeah, pretty much. It's very similar to... A lot of people can complain about a lot of tropes, yeah. but this is a trope in the film where it's kind of a stern man protecting like a kid. Yeah, and then he kind of like mellows out because he's like, yeah, the kid kind of helps him mellow. Reminds yeah, him reminds of his him daughter, of his, yeah, of his his life or whatever. Yeah, and so it's guys yeah, we've seen it with like Mandalorian and yeah. Last of Us, and yeah, that's I like think, the newest stuff. It's like pretty much a lot of those movies nowadays have that. Yeah, and I, I think it goes back to Lone Wolf and Cub or something. Yeah. Like, there might be something before that, but I don't know. So anyway, that's basically the premise. The planet they crash on does turn out to be Earth. It's 65 million years ago, so dinosaurs are everywhere. Yes. And he has to fight his way through. Yeah, because they're trying to get from the ship that broke off. Because the asteroid, like one of the asteroid pieces, like hit his ship and it basically hit in like broken in two yeah so he has to like he's trying to go get to the escape pod which is another part of the ship it's like what do you say 16 kilometers away something from like that he's yeah at. that's literally the premise of the movie. yeah so <laughs> we some dinosaur much... action scenes every in between there's a bunch of dinosaur action in the middle yes so yeah we basically summed up the whole movie pretty yeah. much uh which is one of the refreshing things i think about this film yeah because it was like 93 minutes it was only an hour and a half it only has one plot yeah it only has two characters. And it's a simple plot that can't be messed up. <laughs> At least, yeah. I hope not. Like Some people might try to mess it up. But... You could mess it up, but <laughs> I mean, this one's pretty, pretty yeah, standard. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Because if you watched our Cocaine Bear review, our biggest complaint, I think, was there's too many stories going on. Yeah. And this one's very simple, straight to the point. Yeah. Adam Driver takes the girl, and they go to this escape pod and get out of the pool. Yeah, and they have to fight a bunch of dinosaurs along the way. So... Before we go into any more detail onto this, what was your rating for this film? I'd probably give it a, a seven. Okay. Yeah, because it wasn't like I said, it wasn't bad. Yeah, but it wasn't like it wasn't like the greatest movie, but it wasn't bad. Right. It's no, probably one of the better movies this year, actually. But yeah, I would agree with that. I was thinking about a seven also. Yeah. I would say this is my favorite movie of the year so far. Yes. But we haven't seen that many movies. So yeah. we've seen Megan. We've seen Cocaine Bear. Yeah, and then Ant Man. Quantum Mania. I think that might have been it this year. I'm trying to think of yeah, anything. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, so I think so far this is my favorite movie. Unquestionably, John Wick's going to knock yeah, this down. But that comes out like next, like two from, weeks. The time, from the filming of this review. So next week is uh, Shazam 2 or something. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
So, yeah. So, so far, I would say this is the best movie of the year I've seen. It was yeah. straightforward, easy plot. Yeah, it wasn't like, it didn't, it wasn't overly complicated. Yeah. It has some good action. Be. Yeah. Adam Driver is yeah, believable. Adam Driver, Adam Driver is pretty good in this movie. Yeah, he's very believable in this role as like a survivalist. In yeah. case people don't know, Adam Driver was a Marine yeah. before he was an actor. When, so I think there was an interview or something like that. He specifically said that he used his Marine training or whatever yeah. in this movie like to help, help yeah. his character. And I don't think he was ever in combat. I think he spent the whole time in California or yeah. something. And he got injured in like a biking accident or something. <laughs> yeah. Like crushed his sternum or something. Oh, jeez. So that was the end of his Marine career. Yeah. But, uh, which... My dad actually had a similar situation to that. Oh, uh, yeah. Not, that's kind of irrelevant to this. Yeah. Movie. But uh, anyway, I liked it a lot. So let's talk about the things we liked about the movie. So yes. what, did you, what did you like about it? Oh, the main thing, I, I the main part I like, which is pretty much the main part of the movie, was the relationship between Adam Driver and the girl, I guess you can say. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we could talk about that for a second. One interesting thing about this, which has been done before but isn't overly yeah. done, is that the two characters don't speak the same language. Yeah. So, there's a language barrier there, so they can't effectively communicate with each other. Yeah. So, they have to figure out, like, innovative ways to talk to each yeah. other. Okay, it's like getting paprika or something. <laughs> I don't know what that, that red stuff was. but <laughs> Yeah. Like, when you get to the mountain here. But he just lies to her, though. Yeah, he just lies. So, that has been done before in movies like Enemy Mine or Hell in the Pacific. Yes. Where you have to, but in those cases, it was enemies that had to work together. In this case, they're not enemies, yeah, but like a girl. there is a language barrier. Yeah. And they didn't do Disney's solution, yeah. which is drink alien bodily fluids, and you yeah. can instantly understand <laughs> anybody. <laughs> Adam Driver is going to eat some just T-Rex Drink shit. the t-rex p from yeah. uh, jurassic park 3 yeah just like oh yeah let me go get that bug thing that whatever that stuff is out in the middle of the some woods. bug crawled into her mouth yeah but uh yeah so this time they actually have to work together yeah. and figure out ways to communicate with each other which i thought was cool because he's like oh we need to run we yeah. need to move <laughs> we need to move stay quiet and move yeah so i enjoyed that uh i like Obviously, I like that there's dinosaurs in this. Yes. But that is also a nitpick of mine. Yeah. Because <laughs> one of our most popular videos on the channel is uh, every dinosaur from the Jurassic World Dominion trailer explained. Yeah. So, if you just watch that video alone, you'll be well aware that I'm a huge fan of dinosaurs. Yeah. And have been into paleontology since I was a kid. The first movie I ever saw was Jurassic Park in theaters. Yes. So, I got a long history with dinosaurs none of these dinosaurs are recognizable yeah i think maybe like the t-rex or something but right but like... the t-rex looks more like the v-rex in skull island yeah. <laughs> or peter jackson's king kong yeah that's actually a fair assessment too so almost all of the dinosaurs in this movie look like something from peter jackson's king kong yeah so it's got that feel to it and I'll say that that's one of my nitpicks about the movie, but I guess it's not really a nitpick. Like, if you're a big fan of dinosaurs, yeah, none of the dinosaurs are even remotely accurate in this movie. Yeah. Like, I can't even tell you what that last crocodile thing was supposed to be. It was like a quadruped T-Rex. Yeah, I don't know what that it was. It had the same head as the Tyrannosaurus, but it was running on all fours. It literally got hit by a geyser and still survived. <laughs> yeah. That was like... Twice. Yeah, twice. It took three geyser hits. And a poison die. steak yeah, to it die. Through the eye like, to kill it. I'm pretty sure that would have killed him instantly. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, Adam Driver kills more dinosaurs than this than, like, the entire yeah. Jurassic franchise. Yeah, pretty much. Dinosaurs are, like, impervious in Jurassic Park films. But he has, like, a plasma rifle with a 41 40 range. 41 range. <laughs> he has the gun from Contra. Yeah, he does. Because it has spread and, like, machine gun and stuff. Yeah. But one thing I will say about this is because the dinosaurs are so weird... Yeah. I would have preferred that this take place on a different planet... Yeah, I do agree with that. ...than Earth. And, in fact, there's nothing in the film itself that says this is Earth. Yeah. It's only in the title credit and, and the, the very, very end of the movie, and which... And, like, cre credit crawl. Yeah. And it was really weird because it had nothing to do with anything, and it just showed, like... 
the civilization building up where the asteroid hit. <laughs> like, yeah. What? what was the point in that? Which is stupid. I would have preferred... I guess, or I guess we're in the spoiler section, right? Yeah. Well, it's been spoiled. Okay, so I would prefer to like that taller title crawl, maybe showing like Adam Driver, because because that focuses this movie is focusing more on the relationship between those two characters. Yeah. I would have preferred to showing like maybe Adam Driver like taking care of the girl because their parents died or something. Right. And like while they're in like space or wherever. They're yeah. Supposed to be going to. Yeah. So like. The whole reason why he does this mission is because they're, like, tripling his salary for this yeah. long assignment. And his daughter's sick. Yeah. Cause... So he takes the assignment so he can pay for his daughter's treatment, but yeah. she dies while he's away. Yeah, while he's away, because she's, like... It shows, like, in the especially in the very first part, it, he has, like, these futuristic slides or something. <laughs> like, it's like a hologram. He has view masters. <laughs> yeah, view masters. It's later revealed that she died. Yeah. Like and then are. that's one of the reasons why Adam Driver is protecting the girl so yeah, much. Yeah, he's like, I need... Like, he was... Like, in the beginning of the movie, he was actually gonna, like, kill himself until, like, the computer's like, oh, there's a surviving pod here. Yeah. There's one pod that we found. But he was like... I guess he wants to, like... He was like, I want to save you. Not necessarily myself, but you. Mm. In particular. Right. So... <laughs> Yeah, so that's a major plot of the f- part of the film. It's basically the whole plot. Yeah, that's basically the whole plot. The dinosaurs are just there as, like, a survival yeah. gimmick type thing. But, like I said, since the dinosaurs are so weird, I wish it was on a different planet. Yeah. And, like, in my own headcanon, I still think it is. Because, like I said, nothing in the film itself states this is Earth. Yeah. It's just in the stupid credit part at the beginning. And it and just had, post. like, maybe, like, the asteroid. But right. asteroids hit... Many hit planets, planets all the time. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> so unique. Right. And since Adam Driver looks like a human, yeah. you could just say that every like class M type planet went through this cycle yeah. where an astro where dinosaurs existed and then an asteroid yeah. hit and then the civilization continued. So that would be my take on it. But here's where our review might diverge from other people's reviews. It may be probably a little known fact that in 1977 there was a film called planet of the dinosaurs Mm -hmm. so it's a very low budget film it was made under a million (laughs) dollars and almost the entire budget went into the special effects which is like stop motion dinosaurs yeah which are kind of cool especially given how cheap the film was made and the whole premise is a bunch of astronauts from earth crash land on an alien planet and it turns out the planet has a bunch of dinosaurs on it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not Earth that just looks like Earth. Yeah. <laughs> and so the dinosaurs don't necessarily look exactly like dinosaurs on Earth. So it avoids the problem of having accurate dinosaurs. Yeah. And I would almost prefer that this movie did that because I am 100% convinced that the people that wrote this movie saw that film. Yeah. And the reason why I say that is not only is it spaceship crashes on a planet full of dinosaurs so it's a guy with a laser gun yeah fighting dinosaurs which that movie has like six or seven survivors with laser guns yeah fighting dinosaurs but the one thing that happens in that movie though is that they find poison berries and they use the berries to make a juice to lather on to like a big wooden spike that they use to impale the t-rex at the end of the movie which that's happening here. And then here, there's poison berries. And they even have a device that tells you if it's edible or not. Yeah. This movie did. also does that. He throws it in there and it says, like, toxic or something. Yeah, don't eat. And then the final, mo- final dinosaur that they kill, the girl kills it by using the poison berries to lather on to a spike, which I think was like a dinosaur tooth or yeah. bone or something. And then she, like, jams it into its eye socket. Yeah. And then, so that's almost identical to the ending of Planet of the Dinosaurs. That sounds exactly the Which same. is, like, an obscure movie from the 70s that's on Tubi. Yeah. <laughs> Which is probably, that's probably where they got this idea from. At least whoever wrote the story. I was willing to believe that was just a coincidence until the poison berry spike yeah. came into the storyline. It specifically showed her, like, grinding this thing down <laughs> like yeah. lathering it onto the spike yeah i was like okay this is they definitely saw this movie yeah so this movie's basically 80 90 percent that yeah there's some we were looking at some reviews and some people were saying it's a ripoff in jurassic park it's <laughs> and it's like this isn't jurassic park at all other than there's dinosaurs yeah but the dinosaur designs are more of a ripoff of peter jackson's king kong yeah and then 
it's like 90% plan of the dinosaurs with like maybe 10% enemy mine. Yeah. <laughs> and that's with a little bit of like Ogami Ito thrown in there. Yeah. And that's basically the whole movie. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's, I said, it's a very simple movie. Yeah. So it's like, which that's it's refreshing nowadays because nowadays everything has to have like eight million plot points and you have to have it has to be three hours yeah long. three hours long this is a short an hour and a half movie or whatever straight to the point yeah and it's like uh it's satisfying and everything else so it's not like it was like horrible mm -hmm. because the, the reviews on here is like it's like 30 percent or something oh yeah a lot of people we should talk a little bit about the reviews because i think we're basically done talking about the movie yeah. there's not a whole lot to yeah talk it's, about. it's it's simple it's like a simple movie it's like we basically told what the whole plot was yeah like i like dinosaurs and i know what real dinosaurs look like these aren't real dinosaurs but i honestly don't really care yeah it's almost you could like just... say, they should have just put it on a different planet that would yeah. be like a nip that's like a nitpick I think maybe the only reason why they didn't do that is it definitely would be a rip off yeah. of Planet of the Dinosaurs. And there. another thing, and I think another thing that screwed it up, like if you ever watched the trailer, they specifically spoil that plot point yeah. in the trailer. It's like it literally it's the first line in the trailer, right? And it's like maybe they should have kept it for the movie and not put it in the trailer. And be yeah. Like, oh, it's surprising. Yeah, it would have been a neat surprise, yeah. I guess. The trailer Even was it's really... <laughs> it was kind of a neat surprise when the trailer dropped. Yeah. So that was like it kind of just dropped i remember that just kind of dropped yeah we were dropped. really excited about this this movie was in our like top five for yeah. the year like most anticipated films yeah for this year and yeah i would say it's fine yeah it's fine that's it's okay. not fantastic but it's not it's better than a lot of the other stuff we've seen this year yeah it's like so it's not fantastic but it's it's good because it's gets to the point <laughs> yeah and uh, the reviews are very odd because it was like half the reviews the people liked the film they liked it because it was short to the point yeah and had a simple plot and good acting and the people that didn't like the movie didn't like it because it was short and to the point and they said it was a ripoff of jurassic park which it's not at all it's like it maybe if you landed on like a space station like a science station that they were growing they're like cloning dinosaurs, dinosaurs then yeah that would be but it's not yeah it's not so it sounds more like that uh, plan of the dinosaur whatever that yeah plan of the dinosaurs <laughs> like is that. yeah this movie's basically a remake of plan of the dinosaurs yeah. a big budget well mid budget yeah that's another thing i like about this movie too i think we need way more movies that are in this mid budget tier range yeah we don't need 250 million dollar movies that break a studio if it fails yeah i do agree with that i think we need more movies like this this movie apparently cost 90 million but then some finagling with tax rebates or some crap <laughs> caused it to be 45 million they're probably getting those uh coke zero tax rebates yeah they must setting, have done them in, yeah, setting them in then the, through the mail they must have done something because they <laughs> so got 50 percent off with the tax rebates so in the end it cost sony 45 million which is surprising because sony is known for like dropping dollars down on the everything. stupid inflated budgets slapping them budgets <laughs> and i kind of like it they it's one of these movies that doesn't need a sequel and i hope no. it doesn't have a sequel how would it even have a sequel yeah so it's like i know some people some movies they do that it has something that's like it's obviously the end of the story but they didn't they set up a sequel, sequel. <laughs> they didn't set up a sequel at all yeah in this. they didn't try to even do that which is like okay this is over one movie one and done short one and done movie yeah i agree and i think we need more like that yeah this is it's not technically a remake but i'm seeing it as a remake yeah, of planet of the dinosaurs it probably is. it's like too they, close to whoever it. that was doing it probably saw the movie they probably went on 2b and found it and probably it. and if that was the case i'm all for it because yeah. i think that's what a remake should be yeah you should be taking small obscure films that had a cool premise and wasn't able to pull it off yeah because either the filmmakers weren't good enough the budget wasn't high enough yeah, something was screwing it up but it had technical thing they couldn't do it because of technical technical stuff right but it had a cool idea yeah i think we need remakes of that we don't need to be remaking the exorcist even though we and are I was reading somewhere that they might be trying to remake the room yes with tommy was so movie that's a rumor, by the way. So that don't take this as a. As a Why hint. would you though? Like, like that movie doesn't <laughs> have. That's like a. That movie's basically like a lifetime film. Yeah. If it didn't have the hilarious, like terrible stuff in it. 
That movie came out like when that two two twenty ten. Nah, that movie came out like around two thousand or something. Was it's two thousand. Yeah. Okay. It's like still. I don't know if it needs a remake. <laughs> That doesn't need a remake. Yeah, but it's like stuff like that does not need remakes. No, stuff that's like this because it's sci fi. Yeah, no, Planet of Dinosaurs is a cool movie. It's just got terrible acting because yeah. they're all nobodies and they didn't get paid, some of them. And it put all of its money into special yeah. effects that were pretty cool, but like it came out after Star Wars and it looks like 1933's King Kong. Yeah, level exactly. Yeah. So. I mean, that kind of stuff. Like, the idea of space travel with futuristic lasers fighting dinosaurs yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. And that's what this was. So I'm happy with that. Yeah. But it lifted way too much for it just to be a coincidence. Yeah. Like, I think they honestly... That's not like, I mean, like this... I mean, actually, the full plot. <laughs> I honestly think that this is basically a remake of that film. Yeah. And I doubt very many people know that movie even exists. Yeah, unless you're like really into old '70s movies or something. Yeah. And so actually, like this is the second obscure movies. <laughs> this is the second time in like the last two reviews we brought up '70s movies because yeah. Cocaine Bear had a bunch of stuff dro- lifted from like Grizzly yeah. and stuff. Which I think a lot of '70s. Did they really do a lot of remakes in '70s? I don't really think they did, other than like just taking some of the ideas, I guess. Yeah. But not like direct remakes. Right, but there's a lot of cool ideas in 70s movies, yeah. and 80s especially, too. Yeah, because 80s was almost like an extension off 70s. Like, I would like to see remakes, if we're going to do a remake at all, I would like to see more remakes of stuff like this. Like, seven obscure 70s monster movies, or like something like The Prophecy, we talked about that last week, about the yeah. mutated bear. Yeah. That... The movie's good, but the effects ruined it. Yeah. Like, so that was a cool premise, uh... Any of those type of things. The 80s films. Some are like Roger Corman's movies, which, I mean, they're cheap, but they sometimes have cool ideas yeah. that you can incorporate into other films. Like, stuff like that. So, I I really enjoyed this movie. So, I think we need more films like this in the future. Yes. I'd agree with that. All right. So, I think that's going to do it for our review of 65. So, if you saw the movie, tell us what you thought about it in the comments below. Mm-hmm. Consider giving us a like and subscribing to the channel if you like this. And uh, you too could feel the strength welling within. See ya. See ya.